Hello everyone. Welcome to the sixth lecture on the Markov chain. Today we will discuss about what is the Chapman-Kolmogorov equation and what is the Chapman-Kolmogorov theorem is there. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me. Either of my email IDs are there. If you feel any doubt on the Markov process, or else you can simply follow this uh, YouTube channel link where you can find the various videos related to the Markov process. So, what is the content behind this uh, short presentation? Is there? We will see what is the Chapman-Kolmogorov equation, what is the differential equation, what is the theorem, and uh, we will illustrate them with the help of the numerical example. So, let's start with this one. What is the Chapman-Kolmogorov equation? Is there? So, this Chapman-Kolmogorov equation was firstly derived independently by the two researchers. The first one is called as the Sidney Chapman, which is a Brit uh, British mathematician. As well as the Russian mathematician called as the Andrei Kolmogorov, which is you can see their uh, ages are from this to this and from here. So these two are the mathematicians which have defined this Chapman-Kolmogorov equation. What is that Chapman-Kolmogorov equation? Is there we can see if we have some um, homogeneous Markov chain equation, ma homogeneous Markov chain x n, while n varies from zero, one, two, and so on, and definite is a discrete are there, then this pij of m plus n is nothing but here this equation is called as the chapman kolmogorov equation what is the meaning of this this pij raised to of m plus n is the conditional probability that the markov chain go from the state i to the j in how many steps are there m plus n steps which is nothing but this is same as that of the conditional probability of reaching the state i to the k in how many steps are there in m number of the steps are there into this is nothing but plus plus that is a total is there this is the markov chain that's a conditional probability from k to j in how many steps are there n steps are there so that's the meaning of the uh, markov chain chapman kolmogorov equation means if we are start from here you want to reach at this point so what is that how many steps you want to take is you have to go from this to this that is from the i to k and then k to j are there is the way also we know that how we can define the n step transition probability we have discussed in the last three lectures that is if we go from i to j that is i to j what is the step length is this is 1 to n plus 1 what is the difference between them is n so based on this i can define this pij that is i to j how many step length is m plus n so if it is m plus n it's a zero similarly this is i to k this you can see from i to k what is the step length is m so if i did m here this is zero then this is from the k to j how many step length are there this is the n you can see that so i can write this equation in form of here this one also so what is the proof of that how you can prove that that's quite easy we can start from here by the definition of this pij of xi that is i can start from this one now once you are moving from the m plus n uh, zero stage to the m plus n there is an intermediate between them so i call as the kth stage now by using the probability of a condition b what is the probability of a condition p b is a intersection b divided by probability of b so i can use them this is my b this is my a so this is a comma b divided by p of b now since they are moving from i to k so i can use this intermediate i can multiply and divide this pink color probability now you can see that what is that this is probability which is same as that of this a this is now my b this is now my a so this is a condition b same for here this is now my b and this is now my a so i can write this as a condition b this is a this is condition b now uh, now this is the Markov process so you all know that how, how I can write the Markov process is this is nothing but dependent on the previous value why uh, we have discussed in the last class that is what is the Markov properties that the basic property of the Markov chain is x of the next stage that is a t plus 1 depends only on the x of t but they are independent of the previous positions mathematically you can say x of t plus 1 is totally dependent upon the previous position x of t and they are independent of the past position or you can say that in the Markov chain the future depends only on the present but not on the past behavior also you can define like this way that is uh, xj uh, the distribution at the t plus 1 stage will only dependent on the 
x of t that is only on the previous just preceding position but whatever happened before the time t that doesn't matter this is the property of the markov process and we call it as the markov property that's why i can say this property this is totally dependent upon the previous one that is m of j these are independent of this here so i can write here so can you say what is that this is from k to j you can say this value is nothing but k to j what is the step length is this is m plus n this is m so what is the difference is n here from the i to k so the i can write as i k what is the step length is 0 to m is my m so this is the simple proof of the chapman kolmer equation and it is happen for all the states i j and the step step length m and n so this is the chapman kolmer's equation are there in the matrix uh, form you can write this as a p of m plus n is nothing but p of m p of n otherwise you can also write in terms of the bracket instead of the subscript or superscript r there similarly you can say the chapman kolmer differential equation is there uh, we can start with here if we differentiate with respect to the one say n so i can write this as p dash of ij of m plus n this is nothing but the partial derivative of here so i can derivative this with respect to the n so this part is constant with respect to the n so i can take it outside and this part is written as like of here now uh, what is the value at t is equal at n is equal to 0 that is at the initial what is the value so i can substitute here what is that this is nothing but the p of m this is nothing but here and this cons this part at t is at n is equal to 0 i call as the a j k or otherwise we can write in the matrix form as p dash is nothing but the pm and this is a note this is the matrix so i call as the capital a and this equation this differential equation is called as the chapman kolmer's equation you can see that this is the differential equation p dash is nothing but p of a again uh, based on these two you can define the chapman kolmer theorem what is that if you have some homogeneous markov chain with the tpm called as the transition probability matrix this and the n step transition probability as p raised to power n then it satisfy the following two properties like here how you define the transition probability matrix that is from i to j what is the step length is n this is nothing but the one step then it must satisfy the two properties the first one is there is a chapman kolmer's equation that is a n plus 1 step is nothing but here and then most important thing is here p raised to power this is the n step probability that is the n step transition probability matrix is equal to the nth power of the one step tpm and that is a one of the most important result why because all of us knows that how you can calculate the tpm of the one step and based on this rule you can calculate the n step tpm by simply take as p raised to power n instead of calculating this uh, calculating this conditional probability the proof it is quite easy you can easily see that this proof i already discussed in this previous part now in, in in order to show this proof we can use this given matrix that is a p of this and we can see that p1 of n is 1 here now we can prove them with the help of this uh, mathematical induction what will happen if n is equal to 1 you can see that this what is that if p is 1 n is 1 this is p1 is nothing but p that is same as that of here so you can see this is with the help of this definition now we can assume that this result is true for n is 1 now we can assume this result is true for p is equal to m now in up in order to apply the induction we have to start with the m plus 1 now since this is the uh, this is the m plus 1 step probability so we can use the result as p m plus n is this so by taking n as a 1 here i can write this one here what is the value of the pm is this what is the value of the pm p1 is my p so i can write this as of here so therefore you can see that this result is also true for m is equal to n plus 1 hence by the mathematical induction we can see this result is true for any of the positive integer of the n now i can show you with the help of the numerical example how you can compute that two step transition probability what is the meaning of that two step transition probability you have to calculate this value that is what is the meaning of this so what is the meaning of that if if the person is the state 1 what is the probability that he will be again in the state 1 is 0.1 that is only one step period but what will happen if uh, what is the probability that it will be after the two step period 
सो इंस्टेड ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग द कंडीशन ऑफ प्रॉबिलिटी आई कैन यूज दिस चेबिशेफ रिजल्ट और चेबिशेफ थ्योरम आई कैन सिंपली कंप्यूट एज ए पी स्केयर यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ द पी आई थिंक यू कैन इजली कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द पी स्केयर एज पी मल्टीप्लाई पी दैट इज यू कैन सिंपली यूज द कैलकुलेशन मल्टीप्लाई यू विल गेट दिस रिजल्ट दैट इज वंस द पर्सन इन द स्टेट वन इट विल अगेन विल बी द स्टेट वन आफ्टर द टू स्टेप पीरियड इज द प्रॉबिलिटी इज पॉइंट फोर थ्री look at the another example if something is given to you then you have to compute again that two step probability you can easily find that transition probability matrix like like here as we discussed this same example in the last three videos how you compute that two step probability you can see that we can simplify as a p2 which is nothing but the p multiplied p and you can see this is the uh, transition probabilities of the a b c after a two step period This is the way you can solve this Chebyshev. Oh, sorry, you can solve this Chapman-Coleman equation with a simple, nice manner. I hope you can enjoy this session too. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos. Till then, best of luck, students. Happy learning.